Why do you get up every day and hit your head on the wall dealing with Amazon sometimes? Um, I am your host, Kristen Strander, and I want to talk to you today about what to sell on Amazon for the holidays. Um, some of them are going to be, you know, stuff that you, um, you know, might be a little late for as far as Halloween, but they're still time and we're going to talk about Thanksgiving and Christmas and you know just some things. Uh, I love statistics. I love data. I love looking this stuff up and so I'm going to share a couple of my nerdy data tips for you today. Um, but first I want to let you know that workshops are back. Yes, indeed. January 2020. I am super stoked and excited to meet you. Yes, you at the um, America's Mart uh, trade show in Atlanta, Georgia in t January 2020. 2020. <laughs> I'm so used to talking about 2020, right? <laughs> 2022. Um, it's going to be uh, January 13th through the 15th. It's a Thursday through Saturday, mainly because the trade show um, has temporaries that they set up. So they have permanent showrooms all the time, but then sometimes they have the, the big shows like in January and they'll have the temporary set up. And I don't want you guys to be able to miss out on some of those vendors. So we need to do it a day early. So I'll give you the quick rundown. I'm sure if you've been listening for a while, you've heard about workshops and I just cannot wait to meet you at a workshop and help kickstart your business for the new year. Yeah, it's right around the corner. I know right now it seems like, oh, all Q4, and yes, we're going to talk about all that and all the holidays and all that kind of stuff, but right around the corner from that is a new year, a new year to decide what you want for your business to decide what you want for your life and what's worth it and what isn't worth it and what you really truly want out of this. Why are you doing what you're doing? Why do you get up every day and hit your head on the wall dealing with Amazon sometimes? Well, because we know that when we get it right, it pays a lot of dividends and we do this because of that. So I want to be able to help you move forward and just kickstart your year. And I love trade shows. I love the first trade show of the year, which is what uh, I believe Atlanta is. Sometimes Dallas goes first, but this year we're going to Atlanta and we are going to just kickstart that with a meet and greet party. We have um, appetizers and cocktails and just get to know one another before we dive in on the next day to workshopping, building bundles together, walking through the framework and building bundles together. By the end of the day, there's like five or six bundles presented to the class using the framework and everyone has these breakthrough aha moments and is ready to hit the ground running. As a matter of fact, in, in Las Vegas a couple of months ago, um, we had a wonderful crew of 25 people there and so many of them have already launched their first bundles. So one, one couple did seven bundles. They launched seven bundles in the last two months from going to the workshop. So it, it's just so exciting to see everyone coming home and then just like killing it and doing everything that they need to do. So make sure you check out mommyincome.com slash workshop because we're coming to Atlanta and we've already sold a few seats because our hub membership, you know, our exclusive hub membership for wholesale bundle students, um, they get first dibs at picking the seats. Um, and so they get to hear about it far before everybody else on the podcast. So um, some of the members have already signed up for the workshop. So there's already a few seats just gone and we just launched last week. So very excited for you. I'm very excited to meet you there. Mommyincome.com slash workshop. Snag your seat sooner than later because it's going to get crazy busy and super fun and it's one of my favorite trade shows to go to um, I just like how it's set up I like how um, they have different things on different floors and you know it's just it's just a nice setup I love going to Atlanta it's been a couple of years so I hope to meet you in Atlanta mommyincome.com slash workshop okay now we are officially in Q4 is Q4 not like your favorite um season of the year when you're a seller, right? If you're brand new to Q4 and this is your new first year selling, oh, get ready for a fun ride. 
because we all know that Q4 is the best time of year to be selling on Amazon. It's the last quarter. So if you don't even know what Q4 is, Q4 is just a terminology. Most like finance people and stuff use Q4 or 4Q. Um, it's the fourth quarter of the year, basically October, November, December. And what happens in October, November, and December? Um, holidays, 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 and lots of online shopping. And it's the biggest selling season of the year for resellers and retailers and uh, especially for e-commerce, Amazon. So we're really getting close to these holidays. And I love fun facts. I love to look up statistics and data on some of this stuff. And I am blown away half the time I do this. I sit here and just go, is that real? Like, I cannot even believe this. Um, but we're going to just dive into some of that because why not? It's fun, but it's also very relevant for why um, I'm telling you what I'm telling you today. You know, there's these, you dig up these statistics and it helps you make product decisions and what to sell on Amazon. Um, because this is kind of where we're, we're doing all our data. And it's not just Amazon. This is across the board, no matter what platform you sell on, whether you sell on two, three, or just Amazon or eBay, Etsy, Walmart, whatever it is, you know, this, the, all of these things still apply. This is like age old stuff that things have been selling for decades. And so, yeah, there's new trendy stuff, but there's stuff that's just tried and true. So um, this can help you build your inventory. Um, and I'm going to give you a few tips for like literally what to sell Like go, what to research, what to look for and what to go grab right now. Go call your wholesale suppliers and ask if they have these things and place orders and get inventory. Okay. So just some fun facts about Halloween because it's like right around the corner. Oh, and there's another official Q4 holiday. I'm not sure you've heard of it. It's my birthday. <laughs> uh, 10, 20. Yep. That's a, an official holiday around here. So, you know, don't skip that one. I accept all kinds of gifts, y'all. So just kind of send them, you know, my birthday, 10, 10, 20. <laughs> all jokes, guys. All jokes. Okay. Nine billion dollars spent on Halloween. Okay, and now I'm taking these statistics from 2019, okay, because 2020 was just unusual and it like doesn't belong on the chart because, right, there was hardly trick-or-treating. Everyone was like still quarantined. Everyone was like, there like was barely Halloween, at least around here. I mean, I know your results may vary wherever you are, but the reality is that, um, we're going to go back to like the real numbers when everything was kind of running smoothly. We didn't have a pandemic. So I'm just letting you know that these Halloween stats are from 2019. Um, but I do have some 2020 stats that we're going to talk about soon. Okay. $9 billion spent on Halloween, according to the National Retail Federation of the survey that they did of over 2,500 people um, specifically for these percentages. So all of the people that they have surveyed, plus this is just like data numbers from sales that come in from retail retailers and everything else. 71% of people hand out candy. And guess what? It's Q4 and it's Octo it's past October 1st. That means you can send in chocolates and candies and multiples. Oh my. So get your candy sent into Amazon. Okay. So 49% of people decorate their homes. 48% wear a costume. 46% carve a pumpkin. 35% threw or attended a party. 23% uh, visited a haunted house and 16% dressed up their pets. Hmm. I know these numbers have, have climbed since then. I mean, nothing stays the same every year. So 2020, uh, we're just throwing that out of the curve because it just messes up everything. <laughs> So these stats are just real legit non-pandemic kind of numbers and as we're coming kind of through or around or figuring out the pandemic, whatever that means, um, things are coming back. People are going to have Halloween this year. They're going to be trick-or-treating. They're going to be decorating. They're going to be wearing costumes. They're going to be dressing up their pets. What does that mean for you? It means product, 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 and more product. I mean, seriously though. Um, decorating. So you don't even have to do all the things. You can pick one category, uh, home decor, uh, lawn decor, you know, those people that do those like inflatable art and inflatable in their front yards and, you know, the spider webs and the, all the lighting and just all kinds of crazy stuff. There is product upon product upon $9 billion. How can we even get away from Nine billion dollars on Halloween. Americans. That's not even worldwide. That's literally just America. So, 
What does that mean? It means sell home decor. That means get the candy on the shelf ASAP. That means uh, merchant fulfill if you have to at this point. There's no shame in merchant fulfilling. Just make sure that you're on top of it so you don't miss your shipping deadlines, things like that. Always ship priority mail if you can, only because it's faster and you don't have issues. Um, but yeah, I mean, you're hearing this, it's like, um, what, the 11th, I think, of October? Um, and so because of that, you want to, you're going to want to get stuff in really quickly. And if you can't, if you don't think you can FBA it at this point, then Merchant Fulfill, because people are still buying candies and costumes, dressing up their dogs, dressing up like all the different things. And Trunk or Treat, if you guys know what Trunk or Treat is, it's where they like, people decorate their cars and different themes and go trick or treating around into the different trunks. And it is the coolest, funnest thing. But you know what people need for those? They need like the kits to like decorate, like um, the different, you know, the the do-it-yourself kind of stuff. It's like, okay, I want to make like a Monsters, Inc. theme car, you know, to decorate so for trunk or treat. And then uh, they need the supplies for that. So these are other things that you can sell on Halloween. So many things. Costume accessories. So you don't want to be into the costumes, but maybe you can sell the accessories uh, on, on there. And you know what, you guys? I'm just going to let you know for sure for Halloween. Um, Products are scarce right now. I don't know where you're from, but where I'm from, like, shelves are empty. And it's because of the supply chain and the shipping issues. There's lots of containers that are still, like, off the coast of California. And they're just sitting there. And a lot of Halloween stuff is probably sitting there with it. So um, get what you can get and get it on the shelf because there, there might be some slim pickings this year. Okay, let's talk about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is this holiday that... We all just think, right? It's just like we all get together and have food and have fun. Well, the average household spends about $500 on Thanksgiving. And 82% of that is food and drinks and related um, related for expenses related to hosting parties or hosting family gatherings. And the other like 18% is generally spent on travel expenses. But a lot of people right before Halloween do home improvements because everybody's coming in from out of town and family's coming. You haven't seen them in a while. And, you know, people be trying to upgrade their decor and, you know, changing their stuff around. So, you know, table settings, uh, plates and and placemats and place settings and napkin rings and centerpieces and hostess gifts and air mattresses. It's the number one time of year where people buy air mattresses. Did you know this? Fun fact for you. You're welcome. You just, your life is so much better now that you know that. Okay. <laughs> really though. Um, it, number one time of year to buy air mattresses is around Thanksgiving because people have out of town guests. So things like that, food, drinks, uh, all these things you can buy on Amazon. All of them, uh, linens, decor, um, you know, like just anything and, and food, food products. You know, people are like, okay, I finally want that turkey roaster. I need a new turkey baster. I need uh, a meat thermometer. I need another, you know, disposable pans that people use so that they, you know, can, um, you know, cook without doing all the dishes and things like that. You know, things to bake, pie plates and uh, wine is a big seller. A lot of people bring uh, wine. I don't know. You can sell wine on Amazon, but I think there's special clearance you need. It's like restricted and uh, there's all kinds of rigmarole. But anyway, all of these things, it's not just like food and all that. Like food is great though. A lot of people don't realize that like literally stovetop stuffing, there's people that never go to the store. I mean, just like let that settle in for a second. Like there are people that never go to the store. They buy everything online. Either they're busy or they're homebound or they don't feel like it or the store's too far away or they don't have the selection that they want in their little small town or they just don't care to go to the store, period. Those are all your customers. And you know what they want? Everything for, Hall for Halloween, everything for Thanksgiving, everything for Christmas and beyond. So don't limit yourself to just thinking about holiday related stuff, although this is the time of year. Another thing that people buy heavily um, during this time of year is their cute outfits for their Christmas cards for their families. Um, so, you know, like sweaters and sweater vests and just like, you know, the, the stuff that like the little kids wear, the little dresses and things like that. And a lot of it's Christmas attire um, because of that. Um, so think about that when you're looking and in, in looking into shopping. A lot of times we're just looking for like the seasonal stuff. You know, sometimes it's just the evergreen 
everyday mover. So tablecloths, don't forget about those. Um, so just think about all these wonderful things. Take out um, items, you know, just different things. Things for travel, travel pillows, like, you know, people are always traveling for Thanksgiving. Okay, so now let's talk about Christmas. You know, of course, I mean, you could, the list goes on and on and on, right? I mean, we could say, list so many different things for all the different holidays. We're just going to stick to these main three right now because, you know, we can talk about all the holidays all the time, but um, Christmas. So this, these, these, uh, excuse me. these statistics come from Statista. I know it's hard to say. It's like a mouthful. Statista. It's one of my favorite sites to go to for looking up like percentages and statistics. You can almost type anything in there and they've got the numbers and the data for it. They give you like a small report and then they they charge you monthly to like get the rest of the data support. And not going to lie, I've paid the money because I really, really like statistics and I like facts. I mean, like you can't argue with like when they 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 gather all the data of credit cards and, and just all the what spending and things like that. And they report the categories of things and where people but what the categories of what people buy and when and how. So I really honor these statistics. I like them and it helps drive us as retailers to know like where are people spending the majority of their dollars? This is important information. You are in retail. You need to know like what people are spending money on on a regular basis. And guess what? It's not the trendy stuff. I promise you. Although a lot of people like to buy the little trendy stuff, but in general, it's like your steady eddy type stuff that people buy and it's overall categories. So let's go through some of these. Average spending per household on Christmas gifts is $1,650 for the season, for just the Christmas season. That's gifts, food, all that kind of stuff. 51% of Christmas shoppers, ugh, this is one of my favorite ones because I'm super guilty, right? 51% of Christmas shoppers buy gifts for themselves while they're shopping. Um, yeah, I do it all the time. One for you, one for me. 62% <laughs> of Americans buy their gifts the week before Christmas. What? Okay, I'm so guilty of that too. 62% of people buy their gifts a week before Christmas. I mean, what? is going on. <laughs> They're definitely relying on Amazon Prime and like expedited shipping. I mean, I can't stand that. I'm a late last minute shopper too, but what I hate is like wondering and walking on pins and needles wondering if the thing's going to arrive in time. Uh, totally my own fault, but I struggle with that. And then 28% of U.S. shoppers start their Christmas shopping in November. So we're fixing to be on November. We got like a couple of weeks, three weeks maybe. Um, Okay, the largest categories are gifts, decor, and food. These are, you know, decorations, uh, gifts, and food. These are like the number one categories. But then the hot gifts, you know, I, these all have like percentages that go along with them. I'm not going to bore you with all the exact percentages, but one of them was interesting because I'm totally on this list too, is like 47% of women want jewelry for Christmas. I'm like, yes, I want jewelry all the time. I'm like literally a collector. I have issues. <laughs> Hot gifts, jewelry, clothing and shoes, gadgets and electronics, and food and beverages. Um, and people buy for themselves. And these are the things that they buy for themselves in, in this order. Food, clothes, shoes, books, and health and beauty stuff. But let's not forget another category that's not necessarily related to Christmas, but it's the time of year and people start stocking up on all of this stuff throughout December. It's winter stuff. So like beanie hats are all the rage, all the different kinds of styles, hats, gloves, snow pants, snow boots, uh, things of that sort that if you're not a winter person, if you're one of my lovely beach dwelling friends in like Florida or California or wherever these lovely places you guys are living, then you don't struggle with such things. But here, snow starts to fly around November and it doesn't stop until like March. So <clears throat> we have to deal with all of these warm weather things, coats and sweaters and shoes and boots. Oh my. Also, lots of sporting events going on uh, during Q4. A lot of, you know, uh, the World Series. Um, you've got basketball starting. You've got football season. Woo! -hoo. So all of these things are relevant for products. All of these things. 
anything related to those types of products are and especially for Christmas if somebody's a sports fan um, it's really easy to give gifts to somebody if you know like what team they like you know like oh so and so supports the Chiefs woohoo okay get them uh, something related to their team and they will be happy um, so that's a really easy you know easy Christmas gifts to think about that so a few tips uh, I just literally listed hundreds of things that you guys can buy um, for Q4 things that like you know maybe you haven't thought of these different things or whatever but like looking around corners you know not always thinking specifically about the actual holiday but what do people use what do you use you know what do you use during this time so a few tips here before um, to, to think about what your as far as Q4 goes understanding your holiday shopper is really important so here's your first tip it's under Understanding your holiday shopper, people shop more during this time of year, period. They do. The season lends itself to gift giving, to festive decorations, family gatherings, and so any and all products related to those things, um, even like the obscure type thing, like what do you get your boss who you don't really like or don't really know very well and it's kind of awkward but you can't do nothing, you know, things like that. It's like the awkward, the weird, the extravagant people tend to, oh, where does that statistic go? I got to find it scroll through all these numbers but I will tell you this one of the numbers was super high was like how many people overspend their budget because they just get the impulse buy and they're just feeling very generous and festive and very giving and they literally overspend their budget because they saw something from so and so that they couldn't find so even 18% of households who do not currently have Amazon Prime memberships make purchases on Amazon during the holidays. So, I mean, first of all, like, I'm not sure if I can actually name somebody that doesn't have Amazon Prime. I think my sister doesn't. Like, that's weird to me, but whatever. <laughs> who doesn't have Amazon Prime? I 2% or something of, of U.S. households, 153 million people in the U.S. have Amazon Prime memberships. So I know that number is, as of 2021, August, 153 million U.S. Prime members. But even the non-Prime members are buying on Amazon uh, during this time of year. So not only are you getting 103, 153 million customers to look at your products, but now you have more people. It's a busy time of year for convenience and speed and selection is always on Amazon. This is why we bundle. This is why we send these types of things in. And this is an amazing time for bundles. People are short on time and they're willing to spend extra money. So bundling is huge because they're like, oh, add to cart, add to cart. You know, the average gift for someone outside of the immediate family is $50 or more. Average is 50, people go up to 100 and whatever else. So think about it, $50 bundles, gifts for men, women, children, bosses, um, all kinds of different type of products. Bundles are everywhere. Okay, so offering a wide variety of products for sale on Amazon is going to be the key for your Q4 success. A wide variety. You don't have to please everybody and sell 5,000 units of one item. How about if I sell a thousand units of, you know, 15, 20, 30 different items, you know, think smaller, wide, not deep, right? And in, in the holiday season, when things move really quickly and trends move really quickly and things like that, you don't have a lot of time to sell through something that's a holiday specific. So you want to go wide and not deep. Buy a vast variety of products, but don't go super deep in all of them. Buy a couple of cases of this, a couple of cases of that, um, and then keep moving on. So I'm going to tell you now, this is from... Um, this is the National Retail Federation um, papers here. This came from um, a survey agency that surveys all this stuff. The share of shoppers buying in each category. Um, now, this is not Amazon specific. This is just overall retail. The, the National Retail Federation does these surveys and they add up all this stuff in the top categories of what's purchased per among Thanksgiving period shoppers. So they consider this like, right before Black Friday, all the way through Cyber Monday, these are the top categories of, of revenue that come in from all retail uh, during like the Black Friday kind of weekend, Thanksgiving weekend is what they call it. 
top category, I would love, I wish like this was live and interactive right this moment where I could talk to you and be like, tell me your categories, right? Tell me what you think it is. Because I was actually shocked at what was the number one category uh, throughout this. It's actually clothing and accessories, clothing, shoes, jewelry. Now, jewelry makes sense because jewelry is expensive. So that would make sense to have that be higher. But Clothing and accessories, clothing, shoes, jewelry is 66% of holiday shopping during this period of time is spent on clothing, shoes, and accessories. Uh, then following is toys and hobbies, but that also includes books, board games, dolls, movies, handcrafted items. And so all of that is second. And then the third is electronics and accessories, computers, smartphones, gaming consoles, wearables, smartwatches, you know, stuff like that. Then it's food and beverage. So you've got clothing and accessories, toys, hobbies, and remember that that includes all of the categories with books and everything too, and then uh, electronics and accessories and food and beverage. This is crazy. Some of the stuff I had no idea was the top spending categories. This comes from uh, Digital Commerce 360. So um, if you want to go there and look at some of these statistics for yourself and just be like blown away. And they have like one of them is a download and has like a 25 page like graphs and charts. I totally geeked out, you guys. 150 million U.S. Prime customers. Customers. Okay. And this is an interesting statistic as well. I've been telling you guys forever, time is money, right? People are always, uh, they, Amazon customers value their time. They're in there to get their variety and their speed and convenience. So this statistic just proves this, and I love this. This is as of September 2021. So these are fresh statistics, and I love these. Customers complete half of all purchases on Amazon in 15 minutes or less. Hello, hustle on Amazon. I mean, they're, they're speaking my language here, right? 15 minutes or less, and 28% check out in three minutes or less. Going through the checkout process, add to cart, add to cart, done, swipe, done. This is one of these, these are some other statistics of understanding your Amazon customers and who, what, when, where, why of all of it, why they shop there, why they like to, um, you know, shop on Amazon as well. So, that's understanding your customer. They want speed, they want convenience, they want variety, and they want all of it right now. Um, the other thing, the other way to start understanding what to really sell on Amazon uh, for these holiday seasons, another tip is use your own knowledge and just sit down for a 15 minute hustle and write down these things. How do you celebrate the holidays? How do you and your family celebrate the holidays? Because guess what? There's nothing new under the sun. People do really cool, unique, awesome things throughout the entire season. Some people use advent calendars, some don't. Some use advent wreaths, some don't. Some decorate, some don't. Some people live in the south, some people live in the north. Sometimes we have a white Christmas and some people spend Christmas on the beach. So when you're doing that, take a stock of your own holiday celebrations and what products do you use? What do you always buy? What is your traditions? What do you, you know, what what is your protocol? Because it can't just be you, right? At some point, other people are using the same products the same ways. What gifts do you give? What gifts do you like to receive? What gifts have you received? What do your family and friends want? What do they like to give? What do you use during the holiday that don't you don't use the rest of the year? So Think about that stuff. Take a 15-minute hustle and just write this stuff down. Go through your kitchen. Go through your own decor and look at pictures from the past. Who knows? These are all product ideas. If you've bought it, you can sell it, right? So go through that and make a list of some things that you want to sell because you're not the only one who wants to use those products and buy them. And my third and final tip with some of this Q4, after I've already told you what to sell, is speed is everything in this time of year. Speed is everything. Send items in as soon as possible or list them as merchant fulfilled and get them shipped out as fast possible. If you're ordering wholesale, creating your listings and images as soon as you order the product, that way when the product arrives, you'll be ready to ship it out. You won't have to then create the listings and then do this, or maybe you just are waiting for one image for a bundle. Then you get your product, you upload the image, and you can send your product in even without the image. Did you know this? You can send in a product to Amazon without the listing being fully complete. 
because they know that you have to eventually upload those and whatever. So don't waste time waiting for your shipment to arrive to create listings. If you're going to do that, do it now and then wait and put it in draft mode and then wait for your listing to go or, or let it be live, but then they won't, they'll suppress it until you upload a photo. So it's already created, but then you just go in, add the photo and your, your thing is live. So don't waste that time. Send in smaller shipments more often. That means faster check-in times. It's Q4. You're going to work a little bit more, but you're also going to earn more. So it really does work out. I want you guys to really think about all of these different things that you are that you're need to do in order to get this done. And I'm going to finish with... Um, I'm going to finish with these last statistics because these are some of my favorite ones. The top, this is a recent survey of September 2021. The top five reasons you purchase from Amazon. And each person can choose up to five reasons, but these are the percentages. The number one thing that gets 66% of the vote is I can find almost anything I need top reasons people shop on Amazon. Another, the other one is I'm a Prime member and I receive free shipping on most items, 56% of the reasons people shop on Amazon. The third one is I can quickly find what I'm looking for and make my purchase. What are these? They're speed, convenience, and variety. Y'all, I've been preaching this for years of why people shop here and why it's important to bring new products and new bundles to Amazon on a regular basis. If you don't see it on Amazon, it needs to be there because you're not the only one looking for it or looking to sell it. Um, those are the top three reasons and the other things are, you know, one of them is like Amazon offers competitive pricing, eh, sometimes. Um, but I know it's always available, making it a very convenient choice was one, two, three, four, fifth one down, 34%. I know it's always available, making it very convenient, but I can find almost anything. I'm a Prime member and get free shipping. I can quickly find what I need and make my purchase. Top reasons people shop on Amazon. Speed, convenience, variety. So what kind of speed and variety and convenience are you going to bring to the table this holiday? Because you don't want to miss out on all of that holiday shopping, right? Right? All right, so now stop listening to this and go get some inventory and send it into Amazon. I can't wait to hear how you're going to kill it for Q4. Don't forget mommyincome.com slash workshop. I want to see you at the workshop. I cannot wait to meet you in person. It's going to be so much fun. And if you're not part of our Facebook group yet, why? This is where people come to get some answers. They get connected with other sellers. They can they can get questions about all kinds of different things. Um, mommyincome.com slash join us. Your code word is holiday2020. So see you next time. Same place, same time on the Amazon files.